and women in the church, same thing is true in a marriage. Men and women are essentially the same. Wow. I watched hours and hours of Frank Turek's videos and this is the first time I agree with him. Men and women are essentially the same and they are equal. They should have equal rights and equal pay. Yay! Wait, before I celebrate, let's watch further. What do you think about women being pastors? Ooh. <laughs> I think we're about out of time. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I think. What does the Bible say? Okay, if you go to Second uh, Timothy? First Timothy 2. Yep. First Timothy 2, the traditional view and probably the true view is that God wants the man to be the senior pastor and women can do anything else other than senior pastor. That's what it appears to be. Same thing is true in a marriage. Men and women are essentially the same but they have different roles in a relationship. Equal but separate roles and functions. It sounds very similar to something we heard in the history. Oh, that's right. That's what white Christians said during the segregation time. That whites and blacks are essentially equal, that they have separate roles and separate functions in the society. We all know what a disaster that was. It led to a hierarchy in which whites were at the top and blacks at the bottom. How different is Frank's ideology from that of segregation and Jim Crow time? He says men and women are equal in church, but only men can be senior pastor and women can do anything else. He says husbands and wives are equal in marriage, but they have separate roles. The quiet part he is not saying is husbands have a dominant role. You know, this filters even into the society. That is the reason women face centuries of discrimination and their effects can be felt even today. And if Jesus can submit his will to the Father, then we could submit our will to people that we deal with as well. Wives have been submitting to their husbands for thousands of years, Frank. In return, what did those dear husbands do? They did not allow their wives to vote. No access to higher education for their daughters and no property rights. Women had to fight for those rights and men did not give up easily. Why do you think women are still paid less than men for the same job even today? Why do you think women constitute only 30% of the CEOs even though they are equally qualified? And why do you think the Equal Rights Amendment is still not passed from 1970s? It's because of Christians like Frank who still preach that men should be in charge of the church, marriage and society.